no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net a strip club in South Africa has begun creating alibi fragrances to sell to men who plan to lie to their wives about where they've been. The club offers fragrances such as Working Late, which smells like coffee and cigarettes, and another one called Car Broke Down, which smells like grease and fuel. This is a brilliant idea, but I think limiting it to strip clubs is a bit of a failure of imagination. These alibi smells are a whole untapped market. They could use it at Goldman Sachs, for example. Think about it, after performing the economic equivalent of having sex with a corpse, I imagine Goldman Sachs employees smell like a mix of death, sorrow, and angry semen. But all they would have to do is throw on a little essence of moral behavior, and they would smell like good and caring and meaningful values. Or police officers, after brutalizing protesters, could just splash on a little something called First Amendment actually exists. And then they would instantly smell of parks and meadows, peace, and protecting the average citizens rather than only defending millionaires and billionaires who need goons to act as their wingmen in the profit-based attacking and ransacking of our world. Might take some, some tinkering to get right, but people would love it. And, and if you can't have your First Amendment rights, then at least you should be able to smell them. Or, after a day of campaigning, presidential candidates surely reek of sweat, blood, and bullshit. But with just a spritz of genuine passion, they would smell like real people and American flags, integrity of spirit, and truth of purpose. I'm sure they would have an allergic reaction to that, but the burning means it's working. Or, if you're one of the people who write commercials glorifying massive corporations and companies that use sweatshop labor or cause the extinction of 75 species of animals per day on this planet, then you could just pick up a bottle of real job on your way home. And it would make your odor reminiscent of, you know, teachers and park rangers, painters or city planners, fruit planners or the Green Lantern. Real jobs. Real fucking jobs. Jobs that help people and don't manipulate them into thinking ecological murderers or humanitarians or good Samaritans. Writing ads convincing people Chevron cares about the environment is no different from writing a campaign saying white supremacists are just pigment aficionados. If you can't have integrity, at least you can stink like it. All I'm saying is if someone doesn't make these alibi smells, I'm gonna do it myself. And by the way, the smell is not what needs covering up after a few hours at a strip club. Instead, they should focus on a way to remove glittery makeup because that shit is like the modern day telltale heart. It follows you everywhere you go. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. You'll notice Moment of Clarity does not have any Google ad manipulation during each episode. In its place, please donate what you feel this episode was worth at LeeCamp.net. Thanks. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.